Welcome back guys. We are going to build a functionality in our Inferno app where I can upload a CSV to import users in bulk. So let's say, you know, on my dashboard, rather on my desktop, I have a CSV file which is user underscore new. It's a CSV file. And I have these five feet, five users. Okay. And I want them to be imported directly into my application so let's create the functionality i'm going to php storm in our webs.php file why don't we create two urls we have config user slash let's name it import okay and we will use the admin controller we'll continue to do that and uh, we will name our function as import user let us give this controller or rather a url a name i'll call it import user and there will be a post call as well which will be let's say bulk import user and the function for this will be handle import user all right so we have these two urls to work with okay these are inside admin so they are not available to normal users some basic you know, validation check which i would rather like to have in my application and then inside pages admin why don't we create a new file and we will call this what import user.blade.php okay let me clear it and I will take this view file here. Okay. Um, how is it structured? Okay, let me copy this box and I'll have a column three div column sn9. Okay, and let's just put the box here. We'll open up a form. Action will be route bulk import user method is post and there's something called encrypt type i think it's multi-part form data if i'm not wrong um encrypt type yeah so we have the form ready we need the csrf field and now let's create our form group this is for file we'll call it select a file to import and that should be enough i think yes we need a submit button that's all so dev form group button btn primary and inside that i have fa fa upload all right so we have this url i think we should be able to view this page import user doesn't exist oh i'm sorry so we have to open up admin controller and in this first function is going to be this and the second one is going to be this we need the request to be injected in here right and let's see we need a view uh, so this is going to return what import dash user okay it's in the same folder only thing is our name is import user and i'm not going to send any variable this should work now okay it's a text field um something i haven't changed in my view file all right it works now so we have this now what do we do we need to go back to our controller and this is where we need to 
do the validation first so validator equals validator make request all and this is the array where we will pass the rules i have only one field which is going to be required okay and let's just say i can do a mime type check but um, i'll do that later on because i have created the file as a text file right now it doesn't it might not have the mime type so i'm just ignoring it for now okay and then let's just say if our validator fails we are going to return redirect okay back with errors obviously validator no point passing the inputs again because it's a file and then if everything is clean we will have the file as request this one be input it will be file and our name is file because our field name is file okay so we have the file now we will say csv data equals file get content and we'll pass the file okay we'll get the data doesn't matter and then we'll have rows equals let's just say array map sorry Any map we will call the str to get csv function on an array which will be from explode slash n under csv data i'll just show you why we are doing it so let's just say we have the file and i do a die dump in dollar csv data okay so we have it here let's upload the file hit save and you can see this is a strange way and we need to you know get it into an array so what we have done is this now if i die dump here i'll have all the rows okay let's just refresh and i have this so i have the first one which is my header and the rest are the records okay so because the first one is header what i can do is dollar header equals um it was array shift i think yes array shift dollar rows okay so what it will do is it will remove the first element from dollar rows put it in dollar header and yeah basically my array will be from zero to five it will be zero to four and just this is removed so basically everything in here comes one up okay so we have headers and we have our rows everything is in place now we can write our for each okay this is you know just the happy path you know everything is working well we are not doing any validation right now that's something which we are going to handle in the next video but right now we do dollar row equals array combine okay i'll have the header and i'll have the row the row sorry what this is going to do is it is going to map the header so in our header we have name and email and to that it is going to map this particular row so name and this and the email and this okay so that's how we get the proper row okay and then we can simply do a user create in this let's say we have name oops name will be dollar row and name we can do that because we have used array combine email will be dollar row email okay all because we know this is here and this is exactly how my csv file is if you quickly look at it again so i have Come on come on yeah this is name this is email and this is ac accordingly done so yeah we have name email and then we need a password obviously so dollar row uh, 
phone oh i don't have this so why am i doing this bcrypt um, unique id all right so you know my idea is right now we are creating the user we are going to make it an active user but obviously he cannot log in because you know this is something which i don't know so what we are going to do is uh, i mean we have the user right now so flash the users are imported and everything is fine return redirect back and what we are going to do is in the next video we're going to write some validations you know we are going to send the entire row we'll run the validations if we find that there are some errors yeah so what we will do is then in here show those errors okay with the rows and if everything is fine we'll just create the users as we are doing now and we will start sending out emails with this password and we'll tell them that is a one-time password you need to go and change it okay that's what we are going to do subsequently but right now this is the happy path so i come here i upload my csv file is a new if you quickly see i have two users i upload users are imported and i have oh only one oh that's strange i think there is some problem i think only the last one got imported is it no the first one got imported hmm. for each oh my bad i had returned at the first instance so that was the reason um i need to delete this okay and let's re-import and see if everything is working perfectly or not upload users are imported and yes we have one two three four five five users are here now yeah this is the very basic implementation we are going to improve on this step by step yeah we need validations we need to check whether the user exists in the user table or not so yeah all of that is coming in the subsequent videos if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel